Shall we all remain standing for the national anthem of Ghana? Thank you. Please do take your seats. Thank you very much. Good morning, Your Excellency. Nathaniel Atta reporting this morning. Respectfully, may I have your permission to begin the program? Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, the top hierarchy of the Ghana Police Service, friends from the various security services of Ghana, collaborative agencies, our friends from the media, good people of Ghana, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to welcome you this morning to this ground which a few months ago, a few years ago, could be easily described as weeds and dust. But by the commitment of some persons and also the will of the government led by His Excellency, we have arrived at this day where this ground previously seen as a place of dust and weed is now a place of structures. Structures to house the very committed officers of the Ghana Police Service under this Security Services Housing Project Phase 3. At this time, I do know that all of us do agree that our gathering here is the doing of the good Lord and he himself has ordained today to happen. And therefore, if we're here gathered to observe such a solemn event in the history of our nation and in the development of our nation, it's very important to call the presence of the Lord. It is in that regard that I'd like to welcome here to the microphone Superintendent Reverend Amelia Quist to help us with a word of prayer. Shall we welcome her with a big round of applause? Please remain seated and bow down for a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in reverence to your name, we have bowed down in all humility and acknowledgement of your majesty and supremacy. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your grace and mercies of our lives as people of Ghana. Father, we thank you. Thank you for how far you have brought us. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed is the nation whose God is you, the almighty God. The people whom you have chosen as your inheritance. Thank you for blessing us. We thank you, Lord, for the lives of all of us, especially the contractor, the management and staff of Amandi. Father, through your help, they were able to produce these beautiful edifices that we are witnessing this morning. Thank you. We pray that your grace will be sufficient for us this day. We have gathered here in your name. Be with us. Help us to have a fruitful commissioning program. And when everything is done, we will be careful to say thank you. We invoke your presence and blessings upon these homes. Bless all those who occupy these homes and bless all those who visit these homes. Father, be with us. Continue with us and end with us so that your name alone will be glorified. We bless you for answered prayer through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior's name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you. Shall we appreciate that prayer with a big round of applause? By way of introduction, my name is Nathaniel Atto. I'll be your master of ceremonies for today. And it's my hope that together we will all go ahead to the symbolic cutting of tape to also mark 
the beginning of the replication of these kinds of edifices in different parts of the country. Your Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, anytime we have events of national nature, especially that of this morning's, we have many key officers of state who are here to support His Excellency. At this time, I'd like to say a very big welcome to an immediate past Minister for Works and Housing, a Member of Parliament for the Bantama constituency, and also the current Minister for Roads. Shall we put our hands together for Honorable Francis Asenso Bwache? Also supporting us this morning is the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Honorable Nikwate Titus Clover. He basks in great pride this morning, ladies and gentlemen, because his ministry has chalked yet another major milestone. Member of Parliament for Ofwase Ayurebi constituency in the eastern region of Ghana, and also Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Kojo Opong Nkrumah. Your Excellency, you have entrusted him with many assignments since you took office. And currently, you have assigned him to matters of the interior. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please help me acknowledge the presence of the Member of Parliament for the Ayawasu Central Constituency and also Minister for the Interior, Honorable Henry Quarte. And now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to acknowledge the presence of a man of change, a man with fire in his belly, and a man passionate to change the face of the Ghana Police Service. The indefatigable Inspector General of the Ghana Police Service, Dr. George Ekufu Dampari. Before we go for the first address this mid-morning, I'd like to bring up here our friends from a special KT group to treat us to one of the very big elements of our culture as a nation. While we do all of this, I'd like to remind all of us that we're live on GTV, the station of the nation, GH Police TV, and the Facebook page of GH Police TV, as well as the Facebook page of the Ministry for Works and Housing. Shall we put our hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen?
A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a performance by the Adishi Kite group. Shall we appreciate them with another big round of applause? And so at this time, it gives me great pleasure to welcome here the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufu Dampare, to officially welcome all of us. Shall we welcome him with a big round of applause? Mr. President, honorable, mem honorable ministers, honorable members of parliament, distinguished invited guests, my brothers, sister security organizations, heads, my colleagues, Koma members, Distinguished management of the Amandi Group of Company, Nananum, our friends from the media, my colleague junior officers as well, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have a very single task, and that is to welcome all of you to today's function and I do so on behalf of every single police officer, our spouses, and our children, because today is a very special day. It's historic in every sense of it, and we feel very emotional, very touched, very refreshed, and all what we can say is to use this to welcome His Excellency the President Nana Adudanko Akufuado in a special way. Mr. President, you are welcome. And also, to let you know, Mr. President, that when we came here this morning and we went around and engaging the people who have come here to witness this function, almost everybody was mesmerized by what they have seen. And it is all because of you. What a legacy. Mr. President, what a legacy. But in order to put it in context, Mr. President, let me highlight a few of the many legacies since your assumption of office you have bestowed on the police service and also to us both from the perspective of law enforcement and our welfare. The first one, Mr. President, is to look at the volume of logistics you have provided to us, prominent among them, vehicles including over 4,000 motorbikes spread across the length and breadth of this country. Mr. President, that is historic, and it is one of your legacies that we will be forever grateful. The next one, Mr. President, is where we've been able to deploy policing to the doorsteps of communities which had never seen policing, such that now police has come so close to the doorsteps of the communities and the members of the communities in such a way that it has affected the dynamics of crime in this country, and Ghana has become one of the most peaceful countries in the world. What is even important is that beyond the traditional units that we have in the system. Mr. President, through your initiative and leadership, we've been able to establish 181 regional form police units made up of an average of 35 police officers with vehicles and motorbikes dotted in a network fashion across the country. Where communities we have never seen policing, where roads, where armed robbers were disturbing, all these places have been covered and working in unison with the other security agencies, we can say that Ghana is at peace with itself when it comes to security. Mr. President, all because of you. Mr. President, the third one is to do with police professionalism. As you see us today sitting and running around, we are all in one uniform, called uniform uniformity. 
something that eluded us for years, and on your watch, it has happened. Our engagement with communities, with the members of the public, has improved. Our courtesies towards them have improved, and our professionalism has gotten to the level that, unlike the past, where every other day you see one story or the other negative in a sense, one insult or unpalatable printed, unprintable words against the police. All these things are gradually giving way to a professionalism that has never been seen before. Mr. President, your legacy. Mr. President, when it comes to welfare, I will mention just two. The first one is the establishment of Police Emergency Medical Intervention Fund, where by that establishment on your authority, and which was also commissioned by you or adored by you at the police hospital, every single police officer, irrespective of where you are, your rank, whenever you have any issue of medical and it's work-related, you are giving the best of treatment wherever it is in this world, be it in Ghana or anywhere, within the shortest possible time. Mr. President, this has led to a situation where almost 20 of our people, both in Ghana and across the, across the world, have received treatment, and all of them have come back still alive, living, and their families enjoying them. Mr. President, that is one of your legacies. We are happy. Mr. President, the last one, there are many, but for want of time, is a legacy of housing. What a wow. What we are witnessing and seeing today is not the first. The first one, the major one, in addition to all what you have done across the country, is the Domi Kwabrinya one, which you commissioned yourself. And now, the second phase of that is also ongoing. And that is historic, and we will forever be grateful. Now, coming to this, we are still trying to recover from the shock we've had in terms of looking at the quality of the room, the space available, and everything that goes with it. Mr. President, we want to tell you that it's not about us anymore. It's about our spouses, it's about our children. And together with them, we say thank you very much for making us also look good and committed to do our job. In concluding, Mr. President, we want to say that we are thankful. But we don't want our thank you to be in words. We want it to be in deeds. And being in deeds, we want it to be seen by all witnessed by all, so that in our quest to becoming the best institution in the country and a reference point for the rest of the world will come to pass. And we know with you and with your support and the support of your government, we will be able to lay the foundation in such a way that it will be unstoppable in terms of achieving that goal. So what are we committed to, Mr. President? We are committed to going the extra mile to show our appreciation to you by working with the rest of the security agencies to ensure that there is peace, security, law, and order, especially during this election year. And that, Mr. President, we can assure you, we will leave no stone unturned in getting to that destination. And as we do that, Mr. President, we want to assure you two other things, that we will do this by building and not destroying. And we'll do this by uniting within our ranks, within the police service, within our ranks, across the other security agencies, and also across all stakeholders, and we'll unite without dividing. And when we do all this, and we are able to deliver the elections in a manner that has never happened before in terms of its peace and security, Ghana will continue to be said to be a tribrezer for the rest of Africa. So, Mr. President, it is on this note that I humbly, on behalf of every single police officer, on behalf of every single spouse of a police officer, on behalf of every child of a police officer, to say, Mr. President, and even to some extent, on behalf of our extended family, to thank you very much for being a legacy president. I thank you very much, and you are most welcome. These historic messages are live on GTV, GH Police TV, GH Police TV's Facebook page and the Facebook page of the Ministry of Works and Housing. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies, Gentlemen, at this time would like to listen to messages coming from the contractors who have stayed on this ground for many months, making sure that they build to quality standards and they build 
to those that will warm the hearts of these police officers and their families, as has been articulated by the Inspector General of Police. At this time, I welcome the Managing Director of Amandi, Mr. Nagda Simoni. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Good morning, everyone. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Honorable Minister of Inter the Interior, Inspector General of the Police, Chiefs, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and pride that I stand here today to mark another successful and significant milestone in our journey. Today, as we commissioned the 320 new homes for the Ghana Police Service, we realize the unwavering commitment to those who dedicate their lives to our safety and peace. I am proud. On my way, Sorry. On my way here, I watched again the video that was published by the Ministry of Works and Housing ahead of this event, and I was filled with satisfaction. As the video captures the development in a perfect view with all its glory and beauty, I must thank Kweku for the work and the artwork is done. It encompasses the immense efforts put in by the workers, supervisors, managers, and other stakeholders in this project. It showcases that though 320 families will live here, each of them will have their own privacy, they will have higher quality of living, and from the events in the community center, to exercising in sports complex, to relaxing in the gardens after a long day. For us as the contractor of this project, it has been a, a testament to what can be achieved when determination, collaboration, and shared vision come together. Our teams have worked tirelessly to ensure that these homes are not just structures of brick and mortar, but spaces where our police officers and their families can find comfort, security, and true sense of community. This project is part of the Security Forces Housing Project, the SFH, and we thank you, Mr. President, for giving us another opportunity to prove our capacity and expertise. As we continue our journey, we hope to be able to deliver more projects like this. To the members of the Ghana Police uh, Service, who will be moving in very soon, welcome home. Remember these new homes are for you. Keep them clean, maintain them well, to enable you and your families enjoy them for a long time. In closing, I would like to extend my heart heartfelt thanks to everyone who played a role in bringing this project to fruition. To our dedicated Amanti team that has worked tirelessly. And uh, we can mention Kozo, who has been here since the beginning of the project until today. Thank you, Kozo. For the reps of the Ghana police that has been on the project as well, Hakim and Osei. And the reps of the Ministry of Works and Housing, Kujo. Emmanuel and Charles, I echo all. Your hard work and dedication have culminated in a momentous achievement that will have a lasting impact on our community. God bless you all. Thank you. And we'd like to say a very big congratulations to you, Mr. Simoni. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do one more big round of applause for the managing director of Amandi, the contractors. Your Excellency, good people of Ghana, in a previous conversation with the Inspector General of Police, he mentioned to me his high levels of excitement at the purchase of three brand new helicopters to enhance the aerial surveys and the aerial surveillance and transportation within the Ghana Police Service. And for that, the Ghana Police Service would like to express once again gratitude to you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we do one more big round of applause? It is on that note of gratitude that I welcome up here 
the very vibrant Minister for the Interior, who is also a serving Member of Parliament. Shall we welcome Honourable Henry Quarte? Your Excellency of the President of the Republic, Nana Adodanko Ekufuado, who also is the Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Colleague, Honorable Ministers here present, Members of Parliament here present, Municipal Chief Executive Officers here present, the Mayor of Accra, Special Advisor to the Ministry of the Interior, Chief Director. GH Police TV and the Facebook pages of the Ministries of Works and Housing, Interior and the Police Service. On Tuesday, 23rd July 2024, His Excellency the President Nana Adodankwe Kufuadu will commission 320 new homes for the Ghana Police Service under the Security Services Housing Project Phase 3.
On Tuesday, 23rd July 2024, His Excellency the President Nana Adodankwe Kufuado will commission 320 new homes for the Ghana Police Service under the Security Services House. TV.